Hey, what's going on ladies and gents, this is Holofy, and today I'm here to show you how to do the main easter egg for the last piece by Simbo. Now, before we start, I just want to say make sure that you save purple pods. You will need them later in the easter egg to get the Wonder Waff, which is a major requirement for one of the steps. Um, this map is a little bit, like, confusing at first, but eventually you'll get the hang of it. So to start off, you there are three things you can do, and they can be done in kind of any order, but you'll need to do them all to progress. So one of the first things is you can come over here and stand on this pyramid. I'm not entirely sure what standing on them does, but I do believe it helps to activate the jump pads, maybe? After about 30 seconds, your screen will shake and the pyramid will go down, so you know you've activated the pyramid. Um, so there are two other things you can do. And one is to fill up soul boxes around the map. There are a ton of these. They are located in graveyard looking areas. There's one right here outside of the front of the pyramid building. It's that little monkey there. Also, do not forget to turn on power when you are in this room. You will need the power on to activate the teleporter. So the soul boxes can give you a couple different rewards. I have seen um, gun drops as well as perk drops. The one we finished here gave us a KRM and there is also one over here in front of the ch this church that has speed cola inside of it. This one gave us a free perk when we, when we finished filling it up. There's also a graveyard here close to the middle. Um, they already finished this soul box and we got a perk, bo a perk drop from that. You cannot finish filling up all the soul boxes regularly because there is one inside this room. To open that room, we can do the third thing, which is to kill all three shadow men that are, that are around the map. They have shields, so the best way to defeat them is to grab the L4 Siege off the wall and blow up their shield. Once their shield is down, you can shoot them a bunch with any bullet weapon, and after you sh like, a ton, you have to shoot them a ton. And once you do that to all three Shadow Men, it'll open that room. They do not make a sound when they disappear, so just be aware of that. Now for this second shot of him that we do, it's easier to walk up the hill to shoot him. You'll see that I was a little bit inaccurate here and I didn't realize we could walk up that hill until um, one, of the, one of our players came over and just sprinted up it. <laughs> There is a monkey bomb wall by right here by this shadow man. You might want to get those and just throw a monkey down when you're trying to do this step because you can get like walked up on by monk by zombies if you're not paying attention. All right, and once you've taken out all three of them, it opens this room. Behind this room, there is a second pyramid that you will have to stand on just like the first, but there also is a soul box right over there by that unopened door. Once you fill up that monkey, if you have filled up all of the other soul boxes, it will open the door that's closed right next to it. But do be aware that after you do kill all three shadow men, it will start spawning manglers. So just be, be ready for that. Um, this part also helps if you have a big group, you can just throw a monkey there and fill up the soul box while someone's standing on the pyramid. Right there is a mangler, um, he appeared after we defeated the third shadow man. Um, this soul box actually gave us a dingo, which I did pick up. Now at this point you're going to want to have a fumigator. There is one right here, there's also one that spawns at spawn. You're going to have to go ahead and hit one of those purple pods that you've been saving and you should get the wonder waff at some point. Now that you have the Wonder Waff, you can go take the teleporter, which you should have linked. If you hadn't already linked the teleporter, the teleporter is right here at spawn, and the core is right here behind the door that the filling all the soul boxes opened. Once you do that, you can teleport, but be aware that the teleporter does not take everybody at the same time. It takes all the players one by one, so if you don't teleport immediately, don't be alarmed. Now that you teleported, whoever has the Wonder Waff is going to have to shoot all three of these pyramids with the Wonder Waff. And what this does is it activates all the jump pads around the map. For some reason for us, the jump pads didn't activate immediately. We're not entirely sure what happened, but we did teleport again just to make sure that it wasn't that. Once we teleported back, all the jump pads were activated. Now that your jump pads are activated, there are three specific jump pads that you're going to have to take. The, I do believe they are randomized, but I'm not entirely sure. On these three specific jump pads, there will be three statues. You have to interact with them to pick them up. This is required for the next step.
Once you pick up the last statue, you will get a little audio cue telling you you did it. The one... Yeah, I got it. So after you've picked all three of those up, if you come over here by Widow's Vine, there's a hill. At the top of this hill, there's a spot for you to place all three statues, like kind of embedded in the wall. It's right there. And then there's a statue over here to the right. Once you place all three statues, that statue, that big statue will disappear and let you down into that valley. We kind of came down here one by one. Um, it does seem like everyone needs to be here for the boss fight to start. So what we ended up doing is leaving and then coming back. Um, one of our players did end up in a glitch spot up at the top there though. Once you all come down here, you'll hear an audio cue. Now. Oh. oh, here it is, here it is. Here we go. Nice. Okay, well I'm just gonna chill up here. <laughs> Soon be time to come to the house. Yo, you guys can Everything enjoy being down be there on the lower level. I, I'm gonna pop my anywhere over here if things okay, get bad. That, uh... And now this starts the boss fight. The first stage of the boss fight, it just spawns a ton of Brutuses. The Wonderwaff does one-shot them, but it doesn't chain in between Brutuses. Once you kill all the Brutuses, the um I believe it's Nikolai, they said, in the robot. I have not played Garage Kurobi, and that's where I'm told it's from. But the robot, controlled by Nikolai, will hop down off of the top of the cliff to my left here. When he hops down, you just gotta shoot him a bunch. Once you take out about a third of his health, he will jump back up, and it will start the next phase. In the next phase, it spawns a bunch of Panzer Soldats. Once you kill all the panzers, he comes back down and you have to fight him again. So then after you get him down another third of his health, so now he'll only be at a third of his health, he'll spawn a bunch of margwas. Once you kill all these margwas, he will come back down and you have to take, out, take him out again. Only this time you can take him out all the way. One thing I did notice during the fight is that all of the zombies and like all the bosses, like the Marguas, the Brutuses, they were all targeting our host player. Even the boss, they were only targeting the host. But as soon as he went down, they started targeting me. I don't know if this is because one of our players was up in that glitch spot. Like I said earlier, you can see him there. But he started targeting me after our host went down. As soon as you deplete all the boss's health, they'll die, and then the gate to the right side of the jug machine that's over there under like the little aqueduct area, it'll open. On the on the right side, you have the end game. You just interact with that, and it plays a cutscene. No spoilers here. You just interact with that, and it plays a cutscene, and it ends the game. On the left side of the jug machine, there is a teleporter that takes you back out to the map in case you want to keep playing. Alright, and that concludes the main easter egg and boss fight for the last piece. Let me know if you liked the video just by going ahead and leaving a like. You don't have to, it's up to you, entirely up to you. Um, but I will be having a smaller a smaller guide that will have like the extra weapons that you can get. There's the Skull of Nonsopwe, the Wolf Bow, as well as the Winter's Howl, which is a stronger version of the actual Winter's Howl. And I will also have the Bible ending as a part of that as well. So feel free to go ahead and check that out. There'll be a card up on the screen right now. Um, and yeah, so subscribe if you feel like that as well, if you're not already. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.